I-502 is wonderful. I, I, out of all the states and all the regulations that have been passed, this one so far is, to me, seems like our favorite. Here we have um, G Pharma has a 30,000 square foot canopy. Canopy versus plant count. Like Colorado is a uh, plant count state where a patient is allowed up to six plants per patient and then the collective manager or, or the person that holds that, um, the carekeeper, can theoretically collect a thousand licenses, which would theoretically give them the chance to grow 6,000 plants. So the more patients you have per collective, the more you can grow. In Washington, uh, and soon to be California, you have a canopy. So they, what they say is you have a square footage that you can actually grow of canopy space. So they say you have 30,000 square feet. Well, you know, you have a 100 by 300 foot area that can actually be all plants, which is the ideal model, I believe. And I think that going forward, a lot of states will, will, will jump on board with that. You know, um, another thing that we have here that um, other states don't um, is, uh, is the BioTrack THC system. BioTrack is a uh, compliant inventory control system. It's the actual state system that Washington has adopted. It's a powerful system that basically gives you control of everything down from the seed start all the way to the retail side. The actual flower has a serial number and it follows all the way to the end. Every single one of these plants is tagged. And they have, uh, they have 16 digit unique numbers. As the processing goes, when, I, when, we, when we take this full plant and uh, process it like as far as trimming, the trim will get its own unique serial number. The flower will get its own unique serial number. When we push it to the retail side, retail side the retail side will then get its own unique number. So it gets tracked all the way down to the consumer for tax purposes and inventory control. As a company, it's a dream come true, you know? Um, for the state, it is also just because it allows them to keep everybody compliant. When you come from a, a California uh, collective market, it's a completely different uh, mindset because you know you have regulatory issues that you deal with because they're, they tend to be in the gray area. Here, it's black and white, man. There's, there's no uh, getting around it. As a COO of the company, I, I think that's a, that's a great, wonderful thing. I mean, it creates accountability all the way up, all the way down. You can't ask for more.